And we're getting ready to wrap up the year and the year of sports in Trinidad and Tobago and the world was truly full of action and emotion. Today we hear from Kent and the TTT sports team about their favorite moments in sports in the year gone by. We've come to the end of the year 2022, and for our final episode in our Sports Watch, we hear from the TTT sports team about their favorite moments in sport in 2022 and what they look forward to most in 2023. So we have with us the head of sport, the sports boss, Wayne Cunningham. Wayne, what was your favorite moment for 2022 in sport? Well, that's rather easy. Just the fact that sport on the whole is back out all the disciplines are participating in the fields in the arenas and the courts you know in the pools and so forth every discipline is back out you know after that two and a half year hiatus enforced hiatus that is that was the biggest highlight and then coming down to the end of 2022 the other big highlight is the best football world cup ever i say it and because uh, you can see by the gray beard i've seen a lot of world cups and that was the best ever. So that is, uh, that is uh, 2022 in a nutshell with regards to the highlights for me. Uh, in 2023, we're looking forward to one thing right about now. One thing on all sports people mind, the Youth Commonwealth Games coming up hosted right here in Trinidad and Tobago. Right, it's a big world event uh, and the eyes of the Commonwealth will be on us. And I hope everybody, you know, get into the spirit fast and make Trinidad and Tobago proud. That's basically it. What message would you want to send to Trinidad and Tobago for 2023? Stay active, stay outside, vibes. My favorite moment in sport for 2022 was um, the Maruga FC win over Central Soccer World. Now they won only one game for the season, they had a draw, a couple of draws, I think two draws. But that game was really special because they were under real pressure. And people were like, well, oh God, they just come here to you know give up goals and give up points and things. And then they came up with a 3-1 win. So I thought it was a really good, um, you know, moment in sport this year. I'm looking forward to a lot more um, sport and activity in the country. I think we've had a dip in the last um, couple of years. Of course, we have obvious reasons for that, but especially um, organized association football. I'm looking forward to the TTFA getting back on board with the, you know, the business of football in Trinidad and Tobago, finally. And, um, you know, just generally good sporting excellence. We also have the Commonwealth Youth Games in Trinidad and Tobago. And I think it'll be a good chance for us to show our um, you know, ability to be a sport tourism destination as well. At the beginning of the year, I didn't think we would have had any because of COVID-19 rampaging throughout the world. But thankfully, we did have some tremendous moments from a Trinidad and Tobago perspective. And I think for me, um, those of you who know, I, I love cricket. However, Nicholas Paul has to be the pinnacle for me. Um, he represented Trinidad and Tobago really well. Uh, at the Commonwealth Games, he did superb, and I think outside of the Commonwealth Games as well, uh, breaking a few records, setting some national records, and of course being a force to be reckoned with at the international level. This little guy from Trinidad and Tobago making such a huge impact on the world and being ranked among the top uh, top three in the world, I think that has to be my pinnacle moment for sport in TNT. I think um, West Indies cricket. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this this it, it sounds like I have the track on repeat, but I think West Indies cricket uh, is in big need for improvement. The Test team is doing quite well. I think we have a lot to look forward for in the Test team, um, but the ODI and the T20s they really have their work cut out for them. So I'm looking forward to some improvements in West Indies cricket. I, I really want to see persons come out and um, do something physical. If it's just simply to walk on the road, um, I know many persons may say, oh, it's, it's a lot of crime and so on, but there are some safe places to be still uh, with crowds. You have Skinner Park in South, you have the Eddie Hart Grounds in the East, um, maybe the, the, the Queen's Park Savannah in North Trinidad. There are several places you can use if you're not accustomed being in the gym or you feel pressured by going to a gym. I think um, just get out there and do something physical. Play some small goal football, uh, play some cricket on your road with your kids or with your neighbors just do something to have yourself physically active and that in turn will of course make our entire country a bit healthier right switching of roles here we heard from all of the sports department except the man actually put in the gallery piece ken friendly Kent, uh what were your highlights for 2022 in sport 
For me, it would definitely be the the, um, the Commonwealth Games and the performances that we had there. You know, we had Jury Richards um, winning gold in the 200, defending his title. We had the 4 by one men winning silver, and of course, the 4 by 4 men winning gold. For track and field in particular, you know, the loss of Dion Lendo earlier in the year motivated a lot of these guys to perform to the, the optimum ability, and they were doing everything in remembrance of him. Dion, of course, was a, a legend in track and field, and we lost him early in the year. So a lot of these guys they dedicated their season to him. Another aspect of that would be the performances of Nicholas Paul, who won gold, silver, and bronze on cy in cycling in Birmingham. And he has continued to show the world that, you know what, a Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean have a, um, a cycling star on the rise. And coming into 2023, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the um, 2023 Commonwealth Youth Games that is going to be hosted here in August next year. I think it gives us a chance to show what we can do as a nation in sport. We have so many beautiful facilities that, you know, that is going to be put to use and give also the, um, the use of a nation and also, um, you know, the, to highlight what they can do in sport and also bring in sport tourism to Trinidad and Tobago in a different light. You know, um, it shows the world what we have and what we have to offer in the long run. What's your wish for 2023? I would say that um, we continue to improve in sport, uh, make sport a priority, give back um, as best as we can as a nation in any way and any form. Um, we had a lot of natural disasters in the last year and I hope that we could come together as a nation to work together for the betterment for everybody.